How's it going, everybody? Turnable here. Today, I'm going to attempt to pick this Yale lock. A little bit of history about it. I was at work the other day, and it was in kind of like this glass door that kind of separates a couple different offices that we don't lock up and we don't really use. So I decided to uh, liberate this lock from that door. I uh, told the boss I'd pick it and bring it back, and they were okay with it. So... Um, there's where the pins are. I don't know exactly how many's in there. I believe there's six, but I could be wrong. So let me get this thing picked, and then we'll gut it, and I'll tell you exactly how many's in there. All right, I'm gonna use my uh, dyno, it's a short hook, and this tension wrench, and use bottom of the keyway. Because if you can't tell, the top goes up, hooks quick <laughs> 90 to the left, and it goes up at an angle. Really hard to get anything in the top of the keyway. And it is locked, as you can see there. I don't have a key for it, so here we go. Get in the back, add some tension, and work our way forward. Uh, two or three seems to be giving me fits. Nothing. Man, this thing's, this thing's mean. I ain't getting any tension from it or any uh, feedback yet, so let's reset it and try again. I have picked this once off camera, but as again, that's only once. I've tried a couple times now. Oh, that sounded good. Where's the next one? Two gave a slight bump, but didn't click, didn't make any noise. One's not it. Ooh, three's down. Three's got some tension behind it. I'm using moderate tension. I'll get back on there. All right, so I'm on three. It doesn't seem to want to go up. Right, it's up, but nothing. Let me reset this thing. Try again. I can't, <laughs> this thing's a pain in the butt to get into. Okay, there's, oh, that was a good one. Give it an extra tap, see if it goes in place. Okay, the fourth one has slight click to it. Well, as far as it's going. Oh, second one again. I don't know if it dropped or what. I think I better hold this pick. Ease up on tension. Nice click on that one. Must have been a serrated in there. That was the third one that made those noises. Oh, one in the back. I keep getting underneath that. Oh, and we got it. Holy hell. Now it isn't fully turned yet because the way the spice grabs the back of it right here. But there you go. It is picked. Hot <laughs> damn. Um, move some stuff out of the way. We'll get it here on the mat. Try to keep everything in focus. Move my camera back a little bit. I'm going to set it right here. Alright, let's get this bad boy off. That sounded provocative. Oh, come on. Okay, it's turning. I don't want to strip these. Make sure I'm right here in the center of the camera. And it's still in focus. Good. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest with you, because <laughs> I've never picked a yell before. Except for I have an old yell lock, padlock that I've picked, but that's it. Oh, man. I don't know what to expect out of here. Uh. I got my tweezers here somewhere. Yeah, they're right there. Okay. There's the first screw. Oh, fancy. Oh, the other one came out a lot easier. I wonder if that other screw is not the right one for it. Probably. Okay. I, I won't lie to you. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> now, I don't have a key for this. So if the pins are here, I gotta rotate this thing at an angle. 
we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do this angle. Just don't set it. All right. Ooh, okay. Now let me get my tweezers. Uh, do I have, I have a follower that fits that? Let me see. I believe I do, but I'm not 100% sure. Sorry for being ill prepared. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, and it fits it perfectly. So, all right, let's hold this thing up. And there you go. Turtle Monkey used a follower. Oh man, this thing looks nuts inside. All right, let me get the camera over focused on that. Okay. I was wrong. I thought it was six, but it's only it's only five. So here's the fifth one. Fourth one. Third one. Second one. First one. And we'll go over these in detail, and I'll zoom in on them here in a second. But until then, uh, my tweezers. I just had them. Where to throw them? Are they right here somewhere? Yeah, they're right here. Okay. I guess we'll just push this through or slide it through very carefully. So we know there's there is a spot for a sixth pin right there, but we haven't there wasn't one, so we know we can skip the first one. Okay, I'm gonna get this on camera so you can see it. Um, I won't lie, I'm kinda nervous. Okay, oh it caught it. There we go. Standard. Oh man, I thought this thing was tougher than that. Uh, we'll leave. We'll pull the spring. Come here, spring. Yeah, maybe not. Spring don't want to come out. That spring to stay. <laughs> okay. Oh, second one. These are all standard. No way. There has to be something more than just standard in here. I thought I felt a spool. No way, these are all standard. Holy hell. Well, I feel like a big dum dum now. They are all standard. I could have swore I felt a spool in there. Well, obviously, I was mistaken. And there you go, they're all standard. Man, alive. I thought I felt a spool in there. But there is the Yale lock. There you go. There it is. All standards. Holy heck. I could have swore I felt something serrated. Got neat little pins on them. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And remember, stay picked.